We worked very close to the 750 to 1,000 people that we had committed to the Atlanta Committee for the Olympic Games. The letter says, uh, as of today, we've only processed 31 volunteers. The death and all of our credibility are what little we had with them. I'm learning about Jesus. Really? Yeah. Jesus. She doesn't speak in tongues. <laughs> oh, that's messed up, dude. That's wrong. Oh, should we tell them? As of <laughs> April 29th, hosting and host, you know, of the event or the security, the name they call it down there. If we get that many there, it, it seems that God is is going to be faithful also to bring in. That's several thousand workers. Uh, so the first one is from Genesis uh, chapter 22 and verse 15. The Genesis 22 and verse 15. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendant will take possession of the cities of their enemies and through your offspring all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. That's a very powerful promise. And then the second one is yes, from Genesis 24 and uh, verse 16. And it's uh, the family of Rebecca blessing her uh, when she was about to become the wife of Isaac, the son of the promise. And they said in verse 16 in uh, chapter 24, and they blessed Rebecca and said to her, O sister, may you increase to thousands upon thousands. Actually they said one thousand times ten thousand. That's ten million. May your offspring possess the gates of their enemies. And uh, that's for the ladies here. <laughs> and then uh, a third uh, promise from Genesis 26 and 12 about Isaac. About uh, uh, the a harvest thing where we will reap one hundredfold. Isaac planted crops in that land and the same year reaped a hundredfold because the Lord blessed him. Now, now you have heard when Isaac prayed for Rebecca, then she became uh, pregnant. And I, I sense the same thing, that the fruitfulness in Atlanta is connected with the house of prayer. It's connected with intercession. When you intercede, God will fulfill His mighty promises. So, to pray through, Lord, your church is barren in Atlanta compared with the promises. What you have done up to now is just a, 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 a trinkle of what the release you want to give. Lord, make your barren church in Atlanta fruitful.